Founded in 1856 by Thomas Burberry. The Burberry Group PLC is a designer, manufacturer and distributor of luxury clothes and accessories for adults and kids. Having its headquarters in UK, Burberry is one of the famous designer brands that operate its own retail store around the world with over 7,500 million of employees globally. Ted Baker is a British PLC company which is a retail clothing company. The industry which it operates in is the Apple stores and it was founded in 1988, Glasgow. Headquarters are in London, UK and Ted Baker Woman was launched in 1995. Ray Kelvin is the managing director for Ted Baker. It has stores in Manchester, Plymouth and several other stores in London. It also has stores worldwide, Europe, United States of America, Middle East and Asia. Some key features of Ted Baker. Fastest growing lifestyle brands in the UK. The styles and collections have expanded largely since its opening in 1988, Glasgow. Today, Ted Baker offers a wide range of collections including menswear, women's wear, global, endurance, etc. Ted Baker has a portfolio of stores in the UK, USA and also at present in the world's top departmental stores. It depends heavily on the word of mouth marketing rather than advertising and promotions. In terms of political factors, Barbary need to consider the trade regulations and taxation policy. In a economical point of view, due to the global economy downturn, inflation rates need to be monitored as this may directly affect on buyers' capacity. Since they are expanding globally, social cultural factors of emerging market has to be explored. The technological factor has a positive effect by giving a global platform to invest across the entire business by introducing features like Barbie Road and their social network. Environmentally speaking, Barbie's recycling scheme of raw material waste has been a great achievement. Finally, in legal point of view, Barbie faces a problem of copycat which infringe its trademark. Political. As Ted Baker wants to open stores globally, it can be affected as the laws and t taxes are different in Hong Kong and other countries as compared to the UK. Economic. Retail sales were up 15.4% in August 2011 and 10.4% increase in the other half, even though there is a double dip recession in the UK. There was growth of 53% in the US as well. Social cultural, as they are planning to diversify their brand, they need to keep in mind the clothing cultures of different countries. For example, Japan has a Western style of clothing which suits Ted Baker perfectly. Technological, the company uses modern technology to make services better for customers. Ted says that if customers have any issues, they can video conference with him directly and discuss it with him. Environmental, as a proud partner of made by, they are working consistently on sustainability of the entire collection, up and down the supply chain, which they are working on keeping on carbon footprint as low as they can. Legal. Child labor is a very emotive issue and here at Ted Baker, they are closely working with factories and suppliers to ensure that not only is there no child labor, but also that no one else within the supply chain is being exploited or discriminated against. Their suppliers and customers' bargaining power is weak due to an existing price sensitivity, brand loyalty and good relation with the raw material suppliers. Alternatively, the threat of substitutes and new entrant to the fashion industry is strong due to a growth of new and cheap brands entering the market, as well as the intense competitive rivalry caused by lots of luxury brands establishing their names within the industry such as Gucci and Marlboro. Named after Michael E. Porter, this model identifies and analyzes five competitive forces that shape every industry and helps determine an industry's weakness and strength. It's literally a tool which is used by companies to analyze the industry and corporate strategy development. The Porter's five forces will be related to Ted Baker's PLC. Rivalry among firms. According to Ted Baker's report, their main competitors are Calvin Klein, Marks & Spencer's Group, Lipsy Limited, Arcadia Group Limited. Threat of new entrants. Compared to Burberry, the threat of new entrants is high because Burberry was established in 1856, whereas Ted Baker was established in 1988. Threat of substitutes. It's high in this kind of market because it's retail clothing industry and there are many firms within this industry. Bargaining power of buyers is low due to the prices. However, they have brand loyalty, but according to reports, if there is cheaper brands with quality, loyal customers could switch. Bargaining power of suppliers. They have a decent bargaining power with the existing and loyal suppliers. However, due to soaring cotton prices worldwide, they have not had great advantages. The biggest strength is the strong branding and furthermore, licensing growth delivers high incremental return on capital. One of the existing weaknesses lies in apparel segment, which has increased fashion risk and still accounts for most of the company's profits. 
One of the biggest opportunities is increased distribution of the Burberry-London International Line, especially in Japan. One of the biggest threats is that the company is a monobrand and the trademark check is caused, so there is increased fashion risk and counterfeiting. Strengths, geographical diversity. Ted Baker have stores in UK, Europe and Hong Kong. They don't only concentrate on UK profits, but profits globally. Broad product range. They have a broad product range which includes menswear, women's wear, formal accessories, lingerie, sleepwear, children's wear and watches. Weaknesses. Ted Baker has called the consumer's bluff by not putting their products up for discounts. This can be a huge weakness as people want discounts which may result in them going to other discounted brands. Opportunities. Global expansion plans. They have just opened a store in Hong Kong and a second in Paris. They have planned to open stores in US, Spain, Portugal and New Zealand to increase profits. Bright outlook for online retail. Their online retailing is attractive and they have a separate online retail for the uh, US in order to attract more customers. Threats. Change in labour uh, wages. Ted Baker doesn't believe in increasing the wages for their labourers which can be a huge threat that can result in less or no labour. Usually the consumer is at the end of the value chain and decides what and when to buy a product. Burberry works differently. It puts the consumer at the front. Social media networks have changed how consumers behave and connect with the brand and businesses. This is called social currency. Burberry shows runways in London and Paris and has amplified them as social channels. These shows are rehearsals and can be seen one hour before online and the products are globally shoppable before the actual runway starts. The company is building a cash reservoir to produce the actual product as the orders have been placed already. They do not need to forecast the merchandise. They have no more inventory problems, no financing. Burberry uses social media in a most innovative way. One of them is um, we told everybody that the only way that the company would win and be successful is if it wasn't about an individual that the brand was 150 years old and our job as stewards of the company, we used to say, our, what is our generation's contribution while we're here? Because let's assume the brand's gonna outlive all of us. So our job's to make it relevant for another 150 years. So how do we do that? So we said, you gotta put the brand first. What's best for the brand? But the other thing that we did was we communicated, not just webcasts, but we, we, you know, we love digital. So we started creating a lot of videos with great British music and that were very emotive. And, and it was funny because we would share whether it was the global highlights of things that we had just achieved, whether it was a new launch of something, but we started to almost create a video for everything. We'd share it with the teams first before it went outside, but we'd also tell them, share it with your team share it with your family, be really proud of what you're helping us do. So it, it, you know, it became all encompassing. It wasn't just our own internal culture. Um, so for us, teamwork, it's it, honestly, what does everybody want in life? They wanna know where they stand. They wanna know what they're working towards. They want simple, clear communication. And, and I think that's kind of been our secret. Ted Baker retains his talented employees and takes action to provide stability and security to the key team. They carry out an annual bench benchmarking review to ensure that they provide competition, remuneration and total reward packages and utilize long-term incentive schemes to retain their key talented employees. They also use advanced technology which has resulted in more data being transmitted electronically posed an increased security risk. However, there is also possibility of unintentional loss of uncontrolled controlled data by authorized users. Ted Baker's approach to marketing their brand has remained the same from day one. Driven primarily by word of mouth and out of their ordinary campaigns, with marketing stunts have included the giveaway of a canned chocolate, bunny hotspot for Easter, or special World Cup football cards. Roy of, Roy of the Rover style in 2006, Ted Baker's pride itself on having a built and international designer label without traditional advertising campaign. Burberry was established in 1856, whereas Ted Baker was established in 1988. Compared to Burberry, Ted Baker is less inexperienced in the market and Burberry has a large portfolio of designs and clothing and they are diversified. However, Ted Baker did great in their double depreciation in the United Kingdom where consumer spending was low but they still managed to make profits. Burberry has some great advantages because they use technology to a vast extent to promote and advertise their products in the market whereas Ted Baker does not use technology to promote and market their products but they believe in word of mouth marketing. Maybe Ted Baker could spend more money on advertising. Also, product life cycle for clothing industry is short term when compared to other products. So both companies need to keep an eye and be up to date with their trend and their products.